hi there welcome to my channel code canvas in previous video we learn about first top type css pseudo selector with few examples in this video we will learn pseudo selector called focus so the focus pseudo selector in css is used for styling an element that is currently targeted by the keyboard or activated by the mouse let me see with an example let's say we have one text area name you can say username for example id is equal to username number of columns you can keep it blank for now rows you can keep it black blank and placeholder click me to focus it will be placeholder text okay. this is a basic text area and as you can see this is basic text area and you want to focus this text area and you want to show user that this is in focus now for that you have to use text area sudo focus and let's say background red when you reload nothing will happen because text area is not still in focus mode when you click in it is focused now and that's why background color is there black red whatever you are giving so any element most commonly inputs like input type is equal to text or number or password and text area are in focus when they are selected and ready to enter the text whenever the cursor is blinking mouse users can click them as i did clicked in the text area mouse users can click them or their related label when you use the label you can click on label as well and it will focus into specific input field to focus and keyboard users can tab into that so let me show you one another example the advanced one you can also tabbing using this focus pseudo selector for that let's add some html first let me remove this class and in this div i will add uh, text area is already there so keep it and in text area we can add one more attribute tab index is equal to 1 tab index is used to tab when user will click tab key in the keyboard so i will show you in some time the next is button let's say button has tab index 2 and this is default button right so this is button the next html element we can use div and um, let's say we can add some content for example let's first use tab index is equal to 3 and this is editable div but as you may, may aware divs are not editable by default so you can't edit anything it's a simple text but if you want to make it editable there is one content editable attribute which you can use to make it editable as you can see now this is editable right so this is the div tab index is already there the next one is div with content only this is default div 
and you can give tab, uh, tab index as well tab index 4 to this tab and let's add another text area with tab index minus 1 why minus 1 because you can't tab to text area so this is text area right so this is the html which we have few html elements are there let's add some css over there we can add focus and background to green for example let's add div margin 20 pixel 0 to make sure that some space is there Next area width let's say 450 pixel and button margin 20 pixel 0 and display block let's see how it looks so now it looks better better than before so i am clicking mouse on this screen and clicking the tab so first when tab index is 1 it will go to the tab in text area and when you click the tab again it will move to the next button the tab index 2 the third one is editable div again this is default div and when you click again it won't won't go in the text area because the last text area is not able to the text area is not compatible with tab index so when you click first again 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 and that's it so this is the another use of focus pseudo class the tabbing through elements many browsers have default focus state for tab selection which is a dotted outline it is quite easy to remove that dotted uh, dotted outline but make sure that you replace it with a suitable alternative if you are removing that so anchor tags buttons inputs and text areas all have focus state by default but you can give a focus state to any element in html as well both the content editable and tab index attributes work for this as given in this example and almost all browsers support the basic use of focus css pseudo class css pseudo selector so that's all for this video i hope you learned something new Please don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.